Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement on this day that we are here. We are here. This is the episode that we are here. It's X-Men 97, episode five. Something horrible happens. And that's why I've binged everything that I haven't seen up until now before anything gets spoiled. I heard, I heard things, but I'm not sure. I don't know. We're just... We're here and going to be dramatized. Is that what we're here for? I don't know. Where we last left off. Storm was in Texas with Forge, who'd professed his love. I wasn't expecting that. Cheers. And um, now a crow raven type big black bird of death is, is upon them in their heads or reality. I don't know because a lot of the show has battles taken in inside the mind. But I am here for it, and I'm so glad that you are with me. And yes, we are still playing the X-Men 97 drinking game. So if you are playing along, basic rules are we are going to take a drink. A drink. Anytime anybody gets a drop on the X-Men gang, anytime somebody's method of stopping the altercation is just to scream, listen to me, listen. And then no, the third one, which is the one I'm surprised is happening the most often, relationship revealed and or secret babies. It's been a big one so far, y'all. <laughs> and if you're not playing along, just let me know what you're drinking. I would like to know. So, get it under the big cozy blanket. You're gonna remember a full episode watch long is on Patreon. Is there anything else? I don't know. Wait, you guys. <sighs> Let's get to it. Is it caused by atomic testing? Or is it nature herself deciding the time has come to change the human race? But haven't mutants been around for like, 30, 40, 50 years but by all now. Over the planet, they are known as <laughs> it's not all of a sudden. Well, I am just as flattered to be sitting with a renowned scientist such as yourself. Blue blushes too, my dear. <laughs> Here in Westchester County. Wow, and they are giving away the location of the school. On purpose? I thought they were trying to keep that kind of secret. For many of the X-Men, Xavier's school is the only home they've ever known. No oh, Roberto's in this new story. They be busy doing a bit of renovating since Gambit's last visit. Wow! They've got statues? Statues! <laughs> okay. My friends. Well, would you look at you, girl? A lot of smiles at the mansion when we heard Madeline Pryor scored a top spot among Genosha's brass. She did. The council wanted an X man Luckily, you guys could spare a gene. For reals. Two always better than one. Magneto, the interim council would love a word with you before tonight's gala. So where the heck does that leave us? Oh. <gasps> Jeez. <laughs> Hi, Kurt. Kurt joined the council to help work with Genosha's various communities of faith. I can see that. Such fondos in this city. Long as he left those faithful killer monks of his back at the monastery. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, my. It's just like he said it'd be. The professor? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Sure. Mm -hmm. What is happening? Oh, that's what's her name, Dazzle Sparkle. It does not take a priest to see you and Bob's souls touch in every gaze. Ain't the touch she be looking for. Ah, you Americans, so theatrical. Life is violins and close-ups. I blame soap operas. Just marry Isabel and be done. Scoundrels like me, we don't get no white picket reward. We too busy for love. Too busy sinning. Too busy sinning. Scott, are you surprised to see such a bold move in world politics? Well, if being an X-Man teaches anything, it's to expect the unexpected. 
I always kept that in mind as field leader. Hey, uh, those shades are weirding out the lights. Can you take them off? I can't. <laughs> so, uh, back as team leader. Actually, let's talk about you and Marvel Girl. I hear you're the X-Men's power couple. A love that spans galaxies. Marvel Girl? When did you know she was the one? You're skipping the questions, too. Hard to interview someone who can't tell which parts of her memories belong to her and which parts belong to her clone. The two lovebirds still ain't talking? He's grieving his son. Although the way he's avoiding me recalls a time. And then she takes off my ruby glasses, which hold back my powers. Jean was using the power of the Phoenix to block my optic blasts, and we could see each other's eyes. His eyes made me stay. You forget how many sunrises your eyes have seen. The only ever seen one of you, Red. Just the one. Except for Madeline, that was made it too. <gasps> what is happening? Look, I I'm... You're Jean Grey. He's Scott Summers. Those are the rules. You just forgot him for a sec. Enough said. Now, the latest adventure, Parenthood. Jean... Jean and I don't have any kids. Strange. I saw hospital records for one Nathan Charles Summers, born to Scott and Jean Gray Summers, just last month. Uh, uh, I spoke to a Dr. Bryans there. He told Rogue. That jerk wouldn't deliver my... He <laughs> called my kid a freak. Why lie? Because you're normal. Excuse me? I said because you're normal. You're ungrateful. We fight, risk our lives for you. Evil mutants, robots, crazy aliens. I gave him up because you can't say thank you. Because I have to stomach your questions and prove that I'm a person. I lie because the truth is we're nothing like you. Thank God, because it's the only reason you people are still alive. Holy cheese balls. God, okay. Bleah. <laughs> Unprecedented. Oh, jeez, why is the inner circle here? With even the most overlooked of us finally getting a voice. Moira. This concerns me and my ex-men. How? We need a handsome jawline that begs trust and respect. A poster. Why is the inner circle here? You eclectic allotment of social climbers wish for me to rule Genosha. Who's been running Genosha in the meantime? And I may not like it, but if Charles trusts you with his X-Men, he trusts you with this. We were at a bar in Germany when he first mentioned his dream. Both were in an early grave. He did that. There's a lot of anime styling in this series, I've noticed. I may not be Jean Grey, but I know what the professor would say if he was here. Time to dream bigger. You shall have me, on one condition. You think making me your queen means we're getting back together? It is a political calculation, Rogue. Me, mutant kind's fiercest defender, and you, an X-Man whose touch allows her to feel anyone's pain. Was this your plan all along? Make everyone like you, and then take over? This was Xavier's design. You take me for a fool, acting like this is all about you and the professor. I won't deny my passion for you. As with Gambit, loving you makes broken men whole, so that even as you deny us, our heartache is not in vain. We would be lucky to have you. <laughs> What's happening? Describe him to me. Describe Nathan. I see these big brown eyes and this wild rust-colored hair. It reminds me of... Of us. <sighs> mm. Don't tell me! You can explain! What? If you'll excuse us, Madeline. Something wrong, Miss Pryor? She was in Day. Communicating via psychic rapport was our thing, Scott. Just stop it. Let me explain, please. Jean, you... How long has it been happening? Uh, a month, maybe. I, I was checking in after she moved overseas. The whole month! Of... Go to Genosha. Be with my clone. Oh, <laughs> this is all caught on camera. 
She's the mother of my son. That's the one thing I can be certain about right now. Do you love her? I love both of you. Whole galaxies beckoned me, but I turned my back for you. Sinister cuts out a part of me and you love it? That wasn't love in there. It's ego. And you? You don't trust your memories. Do you even love me? My love for you is the one thing I remember amid this pain and insanity. Remember or feel? Do not spin this on me. Do you love me, Jean? Or am I just a lovely memory? Jean! What is it? What is it? Oh, no. I mean, you're gonna do this in a white lavender-ish hey tux? I'm here to tell you I'm marrying Magneto. What's wrong, Shia? You best sit down. My evil mother was helping me with my powers. Said she knew a fella who could help. <laughs> the man seemed nice enough. Seemed to want to help. Just not like I thought. Mm. He showed me that being a mutant wasn't just about my power. It could be something more. <laughs> and when we realized that his electromagnetic powers protected him from my touch, other things started happening. There wasn't enough room in our affair for his demons and, and mine. When I joined the X-Men, Eric said he wouldn't want me to lose another family. He acted like it never happened. Remy's, uh, Remy's burning. You gonna accept his offer? And if I can play a bigger role and better in the world, well, that's the whole reason I became an X-Man. You never wanted to make things official. I played the Swamp Rat. And I played your share. All the expectations. Every time, looking at you, seeing all the things I couldn't do. Your heart may beat for me, but I can't feel it. You light up everything you touch, but never me. He good. He don't... deeper than skin, Shia. Not this. We be friends, Mo. Just friends. Why is the watcher there? Why is the watcher there? Why is the watcher there? Soap opera. A drink from my dashing Cajun. Oh. Not enough drink change the fact that others be more dashing, Shia. Assemble the council. We need to talk. Whatever is the matter, Doctor. Yeah, what's up? Most other nations don't allow a terrorist to be their leader. Yet so many allow their leaders to be terrorists. <laughs> Magneto accepted only on the condition that we ask one of the X-Men to govern with him. What did she say? Oh, she's gonna make a grand entrance is what she's saying. Went there. <gasps> what is it? Who is affecting both of them? Is that a rat? Sinister. Thanks for the dance, sugar. But Remy was right. Some things are deeper than skin. 
This is her way of saying no thank you. Turn it off. The music. Cable? Cable, are you from the future? Kill the music. You have to get everyone out. Now. He's coming. What's going on? Body slide. One. No. no. Not again. Eyes. You made it. You survived. <gasps> I'm so sorry, Mom. Wait a minute, what? Sorry for what? Cable's Nathan? <laughs> what? <laughs> and who's att attacking Genosha? Oh, it's the Sentinels. To the gardens, hurry! <gasps> So are you. Gambit, how many? Too many. You go at it, you end up dead. Can't even dent it. The Morlocks, they... they stuck in the bay. <gasps> this is a lot of them. Save as many as you can. We shall not live our days wondering if we could have saved more. This is so many sentinels. Are they knocking Charles' statue over? It's still falling. Oh, you threw a train at him. The X-Men are no friends to the Morlocks. Um, the X-Men are out there fighting for you, pumpkin. <gasps> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Now she's the mega threat. <gasps> I just he just took out Rogue. Gambit, see your bet and raise it. All these mutants and no one else is trying to take out the Sentinel. No. No. Just no. No. Mutant intruder neutralized. The name's Gambit. On a me. Well, that's a way to take it out. But won't you take yourself out with it? Remember it. No, no, Sugar. <gasps> she's touching him. I, I can't feel you.
I'm getting a sad song. I cannot believe that he's, I can't believe that, I'm not going to, I am not going to believe that he is dead. Even if they bury him, there is no way Gambit has died. This is freaking X-Men where people come back from weird things. We've got two Jean grades. for fuck's sake. Can't be dead, he's not gonna be dead, he's not gonna be dead. Severely wounded, sure. But they did not, they did not take out Gambit forever. No, no, no. I say no. Cable's Nathan and Nathan is Cable? Since when? Has that always been a thing? Has that always been a thing? And why when the baby, Nathan got whatever, Bishop took him to the future, they made him well, why didn't he take him back to his parents? Was that, why was that not an option to take him back to his parents? Is Bishop only going one way? I don't, this is why I need to watch things a couple of times to catch like the weird rules I might have missed, but. Well, this makes the original series Cable and Scott interactions. <laughs> Scott's a granddad. <gasps> With Madeline. So that Sentinel attack looked really well funded. Where did that all that? And whoever launched this thing's gonna be cool. And where were the other mutants not? I know, we're only here to watch the X-Men. And I know it's an animated series, not meant to be too deep down and flushed out. However, death could have been avoided. Death could have been avoided. And the Morlocks died. And Moira's dead. Moira, Moira, uh uh. No way. Well, I'm going to have to process this because there was a lot. And next week, next week, did Magneto also die or was he just knocked out? Cause it just said Omega level threat terminated, unclear. Yeah, next week's gonna be something. Next week is gonna be something. Holy cheese balls. Well, let's just finish this off y'all. Episode five, I don't remember how many of this was gonna be a 10 or eight episode arc, but whatever it is, we're halfway through it. Holy shit. Okay, so next week, I'm ready to go. I'm all caught up, so I want you there with me for those adventures. So please, so much in the meantime, please take care of yourselves. <laughs> this is your reminder to stand up, um, hug your loved ones, hug your loved ones, and um, yeah, just come back and watch the next video in the key awesome things again. And until next time, <laughs> what just happened? What just happened?